Hey fam, welcome back to the Philip Scott Show. I am Angel Zalalem bringing you this story. Today's story is about Amber Rose. She just caught her man creeping. And frankly, this was not the first time. According to her, he cheated on her with 12 different women. And she clearly says that those are the only ones that she knows, but she says there, there are probably more. It's not funny at all. Um, it's sad. Let me be clear. Whenever somebody cheats on someone that is unaware of, you know, any gap in the relationship, you think everything is okay, you know, you're satisfying your partner and then they go and cheat on you, I can definitely understand how that can be traumatizing to a point where you just can't trust other people anymore. But 12 times is a lot at least for most people you know if you're not in an open relationship it does not make sense to let somebody you know cheat on you 12 times and you find that out uh, but she said that she has tried and tried and tried but she can no longer suffer I can actually uh, read for you what she posted on her story I'm tired of being cheated on and being embarrassed behind the scene all 12 of your bums, the ones that I know of, there's probably more, can have him. You all knew he was in a relationship with a baby and you all decided to F him. Anyway, I saw the texts and DMs and you all were well aware, but you don't owe me any loyalty, so it's whatever. I can't be the only one fighting for my family anymore. I've been so loyal and transparent, but I haven't gotten the same energy in return. I'll never say that girl's name because I'm not in the business of ruining lives, but you'll know who you are. As for him, the lack of loyalty and disrespect is ridiculous and I'm done. So that was what she wrote and quickly all the blogs caught it, screenshot it. Even though she deleted it, we still have it because uh, the blogs picked it up right away. And she also went on to insult her mom. That was weird. I don't know what the connection is there, but it's truly sad because she has a baby with him and the baby is little. I don't even know if he started speaking yet, but he's quite little and it's really sad to see families fall apart even though i don't think they were married it's still sad but as always we like to hold people accountable and uh, we try to be as objective as we can be and tell the truth right so if we're really being honest amber rose is a type of person that pushes this you know slut movement she actually has a walk called slut walk and they go out walking with this provocative almost naked um piece of clothing written slut whore it's supposed to be according to them to take away the power from the other person and just claim it like yeah i'm a slut so what are you going to do about it i have the power kind of movement um Maybe she was coming from a good place, but that's not what the world sees. That's not what the young girls get from her walks and from her uh, demeanor and whatever she was trying to portray herself as. And that's really, I don't agree with it, frankly. It's a personal thing. Everybody is allowed to think the way they want to, but I don't think that that helped her out, even with men. Look at her exes you would think with the way she's promiscuous and sexy and beautiful she is all those things in my opinion at least she's very attractive she still couldn't keep those men um with the way she's telling us it's good to be a slut it's good to be this way it's not working for her so hopefully the younger girls can see this and you know take a note is this what i want in my life yes she's pretty yes she's she looks successful but is that the life that i want because what she's preaching and her life is not the same it's not as glamorous her life doesn't look glamorous at all because from what she's selling us she's been crying and just suffering in silence because she didn't want to go out there and speak about it so you know at the end of the day actions speak louder than words look at her action look at her life her reality not necessarily what she tells you to do but also just scan uh, a, a little bit more who you make your role model especially the young girls you know and aspire uh, to become more like so just do your research because frankly i don't think amber rose is 
that role model, pick another one. You know, there are plenty of women that really contributed to this world, to society, and their lives speak for them, you know? So I, I wish her all the best. I feel bad for this lady. But then the same people she was teaching to be sluts are the ones that are now taking away her man. And, you know, you have to be able to see that, realize that, and make better decision in the future. So, yeah, I wish her all the best. Anyways, guys, let us know down below what your thoughts are about Amber Rose being cheated on 12 times that she knows of. I'm Ongil Zalal. I'm bringing you the story. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.